Hello and welcome to week three of CISN 308. Hope you enjoyed your spring break. Let's take a look and see what we've got to do for week three of CISN uh, 308. How about if I go here? Nope, wrong place. Here is the dashboard and I want to go to CISN 308 and then I want to go to modules and take a look at week three. Week three, we've got uh, lab three. See what it says here, text. Do NetLab, Network Plus Lab five, send screenshots. Using different screenshots, create a PowerPoint that describes TCP IP version six. Whoa, nice. Okay, version six is good stuff. We have a little quiz here. What does this say? Let's take a look. Preview. We got a bunch of uh, multiple choice and true false. There they are. All right. And then what else have we got? This is the actual lab from NetLabs. And then we have a midterm. Do not forget. Oh, that's in week four. Sorry. <laughs> week three. <laughs> we got quiz three. And then we have a little uh, thing about IP version six from Wikipedia. That's some good stuff. It's a long article. So that should help you with uh, creating a PowerPoint. You're also free to look for other illustrations and pictures to put in your PowerPoint. And you do not have to have all the exhaustive information that this article has in it. You just have to hit the high points and do uh, some pictures of that and put it in your PowerPoint demonstration. Let's look back here. And let's take a look at what this NetLab has on it. This is, it is on TCP IP protocols and other protocols. Huh. Okay. Okay. It sounds good. You're going to create a scope. And there it is. We're all set. I'm going to go in, check that out in NetLabs and make sure it works in case you, uh, so that you won't run into any troubles. Going into NetLab. I'm going to log in. Wait a minute. What number was that? Uh, Network Plus Lab 5. Okay, we're going into NetLab. I'm going to go back one now. Network Plus Lab 5. Here I am. Schedule a lab for myself. 308. Network Plus Lab 5. There's Network Plus down here at the bottom. And Lab 5 says protocols and other key protocols. That's the right one. Click on that puppy, and then I will go right below the red line and say submit. Okie dokie. Uh-oh, it says it's going to start at 12.30, and it is now 12.29. So I have to wait for a minute, a full minute, before the little green button comes on. thought I had it as close as possible, but apparently not. Oh, well. Let's go back and look at this. No, no, this one. Um, hmm. Let's take a look at this. It says identify common TCP UDP default protocols, explain the function of common networking protocols, summarize DNS concepts and components, explain the purpose and properties of DHCP, given a scenario, use appropriate software tools to troubleshoot connectivity issues. Sounds like ping to me. Okay, let's go back and see if they're letting us in. Yes, there's my little green button. Clicked on there, and here's the um, topology. And here's the content, same as the one that we had on the other page. And let's see what they want us to do first. 
Well, look, here's some definitions that are really cool. DHCP, reservation, MAC address, DNS, FQDN, fully qualified domain name, forward lookup zone, host A record, host quadruple A record, alias, reverse lookup zone, in ARPA, ARPA, ad, ad, I mean, in address ARPA, PTR record, pointer, I thought the PTR at first was a parent-teacher record. Nope, it's a pointer record. <laughs> okay, so what do we have to log into? Log in to the following virtual machines before starting the tasks. Windows R2, internal 1, and the password is password. Internal 1, internal 1, that's that one. And I'm going to send it a Control-Alt-Delete. And the password is, what was that again? Let's go back to content. P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. Okay, so the password is capital P asterisk S-S-W-0-R-D. And there we go. Preparing a desktop. It's ready to go. It's, just, it's going to pop up with server manager here probably, in which case I want to hit the X and get rid of it. Okay, and then we go back to content. Internal 2, we want to log into that. It's got the same password. Internal 2 is right here. Send it a control alt delete. And it's capital P asterisk SSW 0RD. <coughs> same thing, different day. SSDD. STSD. No, STDD. Close that. Same thing, different day. There we go. Yeah. Okay, got that one. Let's look back here at the uh, content again. And we're supposed to go into Backtrace Internal and Root and Tor. Here's Backtrace Internal. Okay, since this is this going to be this way, I'm going to lift this up to the top if I can without taking over the whole stinking screen. There we go. You can see the little, uh, I can see the little login thing at the very bottom. You can't. It says login, and I'm typing root. There we go. You can see it now, just barely. My password and cursor is down below that, and I'm going to put T-O-O-R. And now I've got my prompt, and I'm going to type in start X, S T A R T X. And there's my backtrace. And I can, at this point, do this and get my command window, terminal, I mean. Okay, I'm going to move this back down again so we can see better. And let's go back to content. We've logged into all those things. Okay, we did that. We did that. Backtrace, we did that. Okay. Hmm. Create a DHCP scope. So what we would do is go to... Um, is this... Which what machine are we in? Does it tell us? Hmm. -mm. Okay, 192, 168, 12, 150. Hmm. Doesn't say, dog. Does it say on here? Nope. It's going to be a real pill about this whole thing. Oh, it says internal one. Oh my gosh, internal one machine. That's what we want to create a scope. So we were going to go to administrative tools, DHCP. Let's go back over there and do that on internal one. All right. Gosh, I hate this. Put everything right out of reach. Let's see. Administrative tools. Where are you? Administrative tools. Hmm. There it is. And there's the HCP. Gosh. 
make it tough on me, why don't you? Okay, I got that. It looked different than any other picture, though. Okay, let's go back and see what they want to do next. See, that looks totally different. Oh, well. Then DNS and add a scope. Let's go back here to this one. Go to... Well, this says DHCP. I'm in the wrong place. I want to say DNS. Let's do that again. Doggone it. Always popping back and forth, does it? DNS is there. Found it. Okay. And now what we do is just do a right click on this and say, was it DHCP that we wanted? It was. DNS is for zones. That's right. I did want DHCP. Okay, well, where's the DHCP? Ay, 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 these guys. Administrative tools. They don't make it easy, I'll tell you that. Action. There you go. Add server. We got the server. Nope. How about this? All tasks. Please, what do you guys want from me? <laughs> Help me. Let's go back here for content. What did it say? Action, new scope. Are we in DHCP? Yes, we are. Okay, so we got to drill down a little bit more. I am sorry about that, guys. We have to drill down this a little bit more and get into IPv4. Do a right click and say new scope. Thank you. Next. And then you put the name in the description. Go back here to content. What is it supposed to be? Internal network. Internal network. All right. Let's go back here and put internal network. Internal network and internal network there you go next and then you put the addresses in which is 192.168.12.150 and 12.199 huh, 24 we can do that 192, 168, 12, uh, 150, and 192, 168, 12, and 194, 194, and it looks like the subnetting stuff down here is just take the uh, default. Add exclusions content. What are the exclusions? All right, leave the subnet delay. Add exclusions, delay page, address and excluded from the 151 through 155. Let's put that in there. They didn't do a very good job of making a picture of that. Let's do 192, 168, 151. Ah, 12, Larry. 12. And then 151. And right here, it's 192, 168, 12, and 199, I think, right? Yeah. Then hit add not a subset of the overall range what was the overall range maybe it's 159 yeah add there it is it did it and now i want to go hit next and i think it says to leave that the same leave the default settings click next to continue yes indeedy next 
And what does this say? Yes is good. And 192.168.12.1 1 for the default gateway. So we hit next here. 192.168.12.1 and 1 for the default gateway. Next. The parent domain, holy moly, you guys want everything, don't you? <laughs> uh, parent domain, we leave blank, it looks like 192.168.12.10 for DNS. Let's go back here. That's there already. Let's go back here. What else? And then say, no, I will activate the scope later. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go back here and say next, and then we'll just, what did that do? There is no wind server, I don't think. Let's check it out again. <laughs> okay, okay. We're going to skip winds, apparently, because it didn't say anything about it. Uh, yes, I want to activate scope. No, no, I will activate later. And finito, and there we are. Okay, you can follow the directions as well as me, maybe even better, and and continue to do the stuff that it says to do on this lab. Take a picture, screenshot at some point during this lab, send it to me, and you will have completed this assignment. And then, don't forget that you have to do, what else do you have to do? For week three, you have to create, no, that's it. You have to do that lab. Oh, no, no, you do have to make a PowerPoint also, I think, right? Yes, make a PowerPoint describing version six, IPv6. Okay, and take the quiz. And there you go, you should be good to go. Hope you enjoyed this week, and we'll talk to you again next week.